Have you ever booked a flight to an important event only to find that your flight is delayed or canceled? Then you find that the next available flight for the airline means that you'll miss your important event? If so, then you might be interested in today's subject. Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Ernest from TripAstute. In this video, we're gonna explore a service called Freebird and how you can use it to minimize flight delays and cancellations. A few years ago, I went to a friend's wedding in Iowa. I flew on a discount airline early on Saturday morning, but then got stuck at the airport when my flight was canceled. The airline rebooked me for a later flight, but it meant that I missed most of the wedding that evening. Luckily, I wasn't the groomsman, but in retrospect, I probably should have taken a day off from work and flown a day earlier just to be safe. I've heard stories from others about getting stuck at the airport when traveling to a critical business meeting or even starting an expensive vacation. Some airlines only operate one or two flights per day to certain destinations, which can pose a major problem if your flight plan is disrupted. For most of us, we're at the mercy of the airlines to help us find a new flight. And that process can take time, especially if you're flying in economy. This brings me to a service called Freebird. For less than $20 per flight, you can get rebooked with no additional fees as soon as you find out that your flight is canceled or delayed for over four hours. But first, if you're new here, welcome to our channel. TripStu is a travel channel that is focused on sharing ways to make travel easier, affordable, and more enjoyable. Traveling can be stressful and expensive, so we're looking for ways to help you maximize your experience through travel tips, points of miles, and innovative gear. If that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing. Freebird is a service that's been around since 2015. It's an interesting concept. It's not an insurance company, but it functions like one. The concept is that for a flat fee, the service will rebook you on a new flight once it detects that your current flight is canceled or delayed for over four hours. The service connects to airline data systems and detects a change in flight status, which then triggers the service and alternative flight search. In the event that you experience a disruption, you'll receive a text from Freebird notifying you of the situation and providing a link to rebook your flight. You'll then be presented with different flight options. Just select the flights that you want and Freebird will book it without any additional fees. Also, the platform is airline agnostic, so you're not stuck with flights through your current booked airline. The cost of the service is $19 per one-way flight or $34 per round-trip flight per traveler. The system requires the traveler to register their flight at least 48 hours prior to departure. This includes award ticket flights and companion ticket flights, both of which work with the service. And if your flight itinerary changes, you can still update it with Freebird as long as it's outside the 48 hour departure window. I know many of you have credit cards that offer trip delay and cancellation benefits. These perks are great and can reduce the stress of air travel disruptions. However, while these benefits are valuable, they usually won't help you with getting to your destination any faster. For more information on how the trip delay coverage works for some of the most popular travel rewards cards like the Chase Sapphire cards and American Express Platinum, check out our video on the topic. Freebird seems like a great way to maximize the odds of getting somewhere important with the least amount of delay. Though as I was researching the service, I did think of a few things that could be problematic or challenging. So let's run through the list. Number one, transferring checked in baggage. If you've checked in any luggage on your original flight, there might be issues getting your bag transferred to your new flight from Freebird. Freebird says that their support team can assist with this issue, but I wouldn't expect any airline to delay any of their processes to accommodate a special bag transfer, especially to another airline. If you're traveling to an important event, it's worth packing only a carry-on luggage to avoid this complication. This is a good rule of thumb, even if you're not using a service like Freebird. Number two, slow airline notifications. I've had experiences where the airlines were slow to report a delay or cancellation in the system. Freebird claims to link to the airline data systems, but I imagine that there are still situations where it takes a while for the airline to report a delay or cancellation. Another scenario is where your flight is repeatedly delayed in short increments, which would not trigger the Freebird service. For example, if your flight was delayed under the four hour threshold, then delayed again, you would have already wasted the time waiting when you could have been rebooked on another flight. I don't think the four hour rule from Freebird is unfair, but I can see the airlines being a source of frustration in this situation. Number three, service only works with major US airports. This could be an issue if you're flying to a smaller airport. For example, when we recently visited Arches National Park, we learned that many people were visiting the park by flying into Moab Airport. However, due to the limited flights to the airport, it's not one of the airports supported by Freebird. I asked Freebird if they had a list of supported US airports and they replied within minutes that a list wasn't available but that the system would alert you when an airport isn't supported. Number four, weather delays may keep you grounded. 
If your delay or flight cancellation is weather related, you might struggle to find another flight even if you're booking with another airline. It's just something to keep in mind and acknowledge as a limitation. Though on the flip side, if your flight is canceled a few days in advance of a large storm, Freebird can help you find alternative flights. I confirmed to Freebird that the service does kick in if the cancellation occurs ahead of your departure date and not just on the day of your travel. Number five, rebookings are an economy class. If your original flight is business or first class, you would likely expect that the equivalent ticket would be rebooked. However, Freebird only books economy class tickets. While this makes sense, since the point is to get you to your destination as fast as possible, it could be frustrating if you've already paid for an upgraded ticket. Number six, rebookings only cover non-stop and one-stop flights. If you happen to have a multi-stop flight, you won't be able to use the Freebird service. The service only supports non-stop and one-stop flights. Number seven, you need to verify returning flights with the airline. One thing to keep in mind is that if you have a round trip flight and fail to board a part of it, the airlines may assume that you did not complete your trip. This can affect your returning flights. The policy varies with different airlines, so you'll wanna contact them if you end up completing your trip using a Freebird booking to confirm that your returning flight itinerary is still intact. Also, you'll wanna see if you can get any credits or refunds for the lost flight from the airline. Number eight, support is via email. This isn't necessarily a bad thing. As I mentioned earlier, when I asked Freebird simple questions when researching this video, they responded within a few minutes of my messages, which was really impressive. However, I think it would be useful for the service to offer phone support as well. I may be old school, but I'd rather have the option of speaking to someone over the phone, especially if I encounter a complicated issue. So in conclusion, I think Freebird is a great service to use when you're traveling to an important event. It reduces some of the risk when using a smaller airline that just may not have as many flights as larger airlines. Whether it's a wedding, job interview, or expensive vacation, $90 could be worth the peace of mind and convenience of getting another flight quickly without the cost of a last minute booking. What do you all think of Freebird? Have you used it for your flights? Let us know in the comments section below. As always, we hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If so, please give us a thumbs up and consider sharing the video with others. It really helps us with growing our channel and community. Until next time, travel safe and travel smart.